Hi, I'm Paul Pereira. I'm GKN's VP for Technology and Innovation. I'm here with the Accelerator Programme as part of the sponsors, and we're really interested in Industry 4, sustainability, and growing the startup community around aerospace. The reason that GKN are here today with Boeing and the ATI programme, we're really excited by what the startup community, particularly around sustainability and Industry 4, can bring into aerospace. We believe there's a lot of innovation in that world of digital, um, particularly. And also, I think the attractiveness of bringing that digital economy into aerospace and accelerating the timescales for adoption, where we're typically a 50-year cycle business from the design concept through to the in-flight of uh, an aircraft could typically last that long. Whereas startup companies work in much shorter timescales and they can bring new products to market in days rather than weeks. So what we want to learn from this is uh, how to do that for aircraft in the future. And we want to fly technologies of tomorrow today. So if we can use the concepts of minimum viable product, um, generating new models for business and cash flow in particular to try and see how we can change the dynamics of the industry to make it even more attractive to uh, our sustainability drivers, particularly around reducing fossil fuel burn on aircraft, but also in the whole manufacturing processes using Industry 4, then we've really got, really got a, a power and advantage to become part of the solution to some of today's global challenges. Um, the future for mobility is also really interesting to us. And some of these startup companies have considerable activity in the automotive world and maybe in other areas of interest. And blockchain is one of those in the digital world. In finance, which has been adopted by some, but within aerospace, we're kind of slow off the mark with that. We also have a big additive capability in um, our business in GKN. 3D printing is really important to the world in the future. We can now produce parts out of powder and uh, metal that's been supplied anywhere in the world and distributed as a raw material and then we can convert it into the part with metal printing processes. Some of the companies today bring something very different with their understanding of how to design for additive manufacturing and that's an area of really of interest for us. If we come out of today, and I believe we will, with over five or six companies that we're going to work on proof of concepts and then drive the growth in those companies and make them successful, then we will be successful too. So really today it's about making successful businesses, uh, making successful partnerships and working with Boeing and the ATI to generate the next um, future leaders of the aerospace industry. I think it's the people. I mean, some of the people we've been working with over the last five weeks, and it's been such a short time, we just see exuding emphasis on how they can create something new and they have this belief and confidence of something that they can bring to the aerospace table. We just want to rub that into our organization as quickly as we can and take that on board and drive with them for that sort of pace and energy, enthusiasm. So to me, if we get that out of today as well, and, and hopefully, personally, we'll be excited throughout the day of having four or five big companies in five years' time that we can say we were part of.